Those beautiful rock formations you see in the background are tapuis, and they're the oldest rock formation in the world. Behind one of them is the tallest waterfall in the world, Angel Falls. We're gonna go check that out. We're in the state of Bolivar here in Venezuela. Joining me today is gonna be... Alejandra. ¿Qué pasó? Hola. Hola, hi. She didn't see it coming. Una pregunta. Los pies, ¿no te duelen, hermano? No. <laughs> Mi pana, yo... <laughs> o sea, ayer me dolieron los pies y no estamos en piedra, pero ahorita nada. Nada. Cali. You don't feel anything. No. <laughs> Cali. Uh. All right. I see, I see it immediately. This is a typical home here that the local indigenous people will use. Basically, it keeps you really cool in here. As you can see, it's really bright outside. That means it's very hot. And what the people will do here, the village elder will set up hammocks to each stick. So one, two, three. And if we just go all around, you can see how many people fit in here. Now it's really cool here, and up there is it's really hot. That's where all the heat is kept. And at night, that heat comes down, and you get a really nice climate. All right, let's let me show you how hot it is. Woo. Yeah, it's hot out here. But as you can see, these are the typical homes here. Este es como una hoja de 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 eucalipto. Como eucalipto. Como eucalipto. Que pero el nombre en el en el dialecto es Caigusenda Curitupo, que es el enjuague bucal del tigre. Dicen que el tigre masca esta hoja para mantener los, los colmillos, la ansía bien. Por eso es como momento lado, máscala para que sienta. Y la escupe. Es menti. O sea, esto lo mastica la gente aquí en las mañanas. En las mañanas la gente mastica esto acá. Sí. Antes, o antes, antes. Antes, como para limpiarse la boca. Sí. Eso era antes, ahorita lo aplico. Not bad. The effects are in and it numbs your mouth a little bit. Almost like coca leaves. There's some local indigenous kids. We're going to say hello to them. Bacubera. Hola. Hola. Bacubera. Sí. Qué linda. So, el NAC es lo que significa? Ina es sí. ¿Sí? Sí. Ah, ok. ¿Y para dónde? ¿Esos son los hijos de él o él? No, nietos. Pero mira, mira su cabello, no tiene cana, ¿viste? Negro, negro. Porque a la gente de aquí no le salen canas. No, llega a una cierta edad que es genético, no tienen cana. Aquí hubiera... So... You saw her, she had a little bit of gray hair. That pretty much means she's a mestizo. She's been mixed, she's not 100% indigenous. The indigenous people here, they, they can grow to 100 years easily and they're never gonna have gray hair, even at 100. Another thing is, as you can see, the little boy puts his head down when I greet him. And well, he's not gonna say much because he's shy. He's a little boy, he doesn't really wanna speak, but in their culture, if you speak directly and look at somebody, it's considered rude. So, you greet them and if they're gonna say anything, they're gonna look down and kind of look away or walk away and then they'll speak. If not, it's considered disrespectful. We're going straight into those rapids. Like this to happen, but <laughs> the canoe got soaked with water. Angel Falls is right over there. I'm just gonna let my stuff dry out here, and we're gonna go in the water hole over there. Como te sientes? <laughs> Alejandro's having a bad time because she can't see what's in the water, and the rocks are slippery. But have a look at it. There's like a nice little watering hole here, and well, I'm gonna go check it out up there. Sí, ya estoy listo, ya nací listo. 
We're gonna take a little break over here from our little waterfall adventure and we're gonna chill here in the beach and catch some rays. And a little bite to eat or whatever this is. I'm just kidding guys, that was a terrible joke, but there is a beach over here alongside the river and we're taking a break. We have about, ¿cuánto más, más o menos? Como unas dos horas. Dos horas. Va a llegar a uh, Angel. Hasta, hasta la isla Ratón, que es el tope de llegada. Okay. Alrighty guys, so another two hours until we get there. And it's already been about three, so it's a long journey to see the world's tallest waterfall. Yeah. We're canoeing through this, whoa. Love at its finest. Anyways, we're making our way through, guys. Check it out, we have all these massive rocks to get through, but we're approaching. If the pool is over there. Have you ever seen rocks like this around a river? Our guides, they're on another level to trek through these waters. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, ah! Oh shit, now we're going sideways. <laughs> All right. All right, we're through. <laughs> I just ran into that spider web and that gigantic spider was right next to my forehead. Anyways, we're now trekking. Saw the first glimpse of the Angel Falls. We're gonna trek our way through it. Well, we're gonna trek our way to it. It's gonna be about an hour. But there she goes. The world's highest waterfall. Coming out of the world's oldest rock formations. A little fact about it. We are out here in the lush green tropical jungles of South America and I see a wild Alejandro walking through the rain. Oh, she saw me. Este, estos son los los pegones. Si en caso de que llegas a a fastidiarla se alborota también. Oh. Okay. What the heck? Man? They all came out. All the bees are coming. Alejandro's like, yo, I'm out. This is the jungle, guys. Estoy aquí, jungla, ¿no? Sí, ya estás en una selva tropical lluviosa. Y de aquí para pa el sur es la Amazona, ¿no? Sí. Y ya. So, ¿Nos puede encontrar aquí un animal venenoso? Sí, aquí por lo menos tienes la serpiente más venenosa, tienes la coral. Tienes ¿La, ¿La coral está acá? Sí, la terciopelo, la coima piña. La coima piña. La coima piña. <laughs> okay, coima piña. <laughs> Funny story about the snake, it's the puff adder in English. And in Venezuela, basically, they, say, they have a saying that que eh, mujer que no es coima no es mujer. Because they're all coimas here. Uh, that's what they say, at least, including my mom. My mom's a Kwaima. <laughs> I love you, mom. But it's true. <laughs> She'll say it with honor. Anyway, um, so, ¿cómo es que se llama Kwaima? Kwaima piña. Kwaima piña. Piña is because it's kind of like when it puffs, like the puff adder, it puffs up and it looks like a pineapple. And Kwaima is because of the snake that when it sees you, it doesn't run away. It attacks you and it, it's extremely aggressive. Like a Kwaima, which is like a jealous, or possessive, uh, significant other. Mira, este es lo mismo, solo que se seca hasta las últimas venitas, mira. Porque no hay bacterias que se la coman. Nada se la coman. Nada. Okay. Hay bacterias. Es, es pobre, esta tierra es pobre. Por eso es que la cantidad... Hormiga bala, 24. Ese sí es enorme. Those are the ants here in the jungle. I believe um, there might be steroids in the area somewhere and they just grow out of proportion. Y, y, y agarran varios traseritos 
del, del, de la hormiga en cantidad y lo ponen así y luego te la ponen en, en el frente, te la pican te estoy diciendo cantidad Ajá. en el brazo y ese es para ser activo, cazador ¿y a qué edad oh, le empiezan a poner solo? Mucho? a partir de los 6, 7 años de 6, pequeño años. Oh, wow. para activarlos está bien oh. So here, there is uh, in the state of Bolivar, there's three different uh, ethnic indigenous groups here. Um, our guide over here is from one of them. And well, we're very close to Amazon, so similar um, rituals are held. The one that he just explained is the version here. I don't know if you guys seen those nature shows, but deep in the Amazon, there's some tribes that they get the bullet ants and they make the men to become a man so the boys oh <laughs> all right so the boys basically they got to put their hand in there and get bitten and they put hundreds of ants in there and the pain lasts the whole day it's the biggest ant it's like they're like this like <laughs> continue on trekking and all this beauty guys that Angel Falls 983 meters high the world's tallest waterfall and something I've been waiting to see ever since sixth grade geography class interesting fact guys the water it doesn't come from the top it comes from inside the tapu itself the oldest rock structures in the world have water in them how that happened basically it rains the clouds go over this thing and all the water gets soaked into the top of the mountain and then somehow it comes up sadly this area hasn't been explored that much nobody's been able to go inside of these tapuis and and see what's up what is what what are they there they just look like alien structures over here next to everything else that you see Sadly guys, and also good, it's the dry season right now, it's the end of the dry season and about two months the rainy season will start and once that happens, you cannot be in this area. I've been told that the wind is too powerful, it won't let you, water is going to be all over your face and you won't be able to do anything about it. So it has its pros and cons, you come during the dry season, you can hang out over here and check it out. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. For those of you wondering, uh, the movie Up was based on these tapuis. You know, that old man with the house that can fly with the balloons and he lands on like a flat tabletop rock structure. That's these guys right here. We had to leave right now. Our guide is calling us over from the bottom. Apparently it's starting to rain on top of the mountain. And when it rains, even more water comes out and we're way too close at the moment. So we got to get out right now. Oh, si la veo, una viper. Como se dice también de? Se ve venenosa. Guys, check it out. Here we found a little snake. He's looking at me now. Creo que es venenosa. Now we saw that little venomous looking snake. The reason I say it's venomous is because he wasn't really scared at all. And he was all coiled up. He looked like a little viper. But he just looked like, I dare you to come in and harass me. I left him alone, but I mean, they have anti-venom back at the, in the village, but that's about six hours away. So you get bits in here. I just verified with the guide here. La culebra esa. ¿Cuál es, hermano? La cuaima piña. Esa es la. ¿Y por qué no me atacó? Porque está tranquila. Mientras no la moleste, no ataca. Pero una vez que la toques, corres o la matas. Pero no te deja. So cuando la toca, es cuando se convierte en la cuaima. La cuaima, exactamente. We're going back down now. The nightfall is gonna catch us, however, guys. <laughs> the guide was just telling us right now, we've been followed the whole time here. And I wanted to go touch the wall and be under the waterfall, but we had to go. And he said, you cannot return here at night because, well, there's indigenous people here. 
um, but they're actually living here still so the guy says that they whistle and when they whistle they're letting you know I see you I know you're here and I want you to know that as well but we haven't seen them and I just been looking at the floor the whole time just moving like that but somewhere around here there could be indigenous folks looking at me and supposedly later in the camp they'll come and bother you a little bit like hey you're playing in my background i'm gonna go bother you in your camp oh all right all right buena, buena, buena. all righty guys we're we're here at a little pool right under the waterfall Nightfall's catching us, but he, he gave us the option. He said we're walking fast and we want to go and check it out. So we're going to take all our clothes out. We're going to go for a quick dip. We're going to get bathed by the Angel Falls water, baby. Let's, let's freaking do it. Oh, man. Dale. Dale, dale, dale. <laughs> all right. Woo. All right, the water. What do you expect? There's waterfall water. <laughs> oh shit! The camera can't get wet! ¿Qué tal el agua? Buenísimo. Chévere. Excelente. ¿Qué tal? ¿Tiene frío? Un poquito. Un poquito. ¿Tú estás acostumbrado? Sí, acostumbrado. Una experiencia inolvidable. Única, ¿verdad? Única. Right. Yeah, definitely now. Now we gotta get back, so let's get moving. Wow. It's not even fully dark yet. But as you can see, you can barely see anything here. Estoy colocando el otro teléfono para grabar con esto. Eso. Así. Tú la más la cargas así y. Sí, déjalo. Esto parece una película de miedo siguiéndole por aquí atrás. Guys, the night has got to us. Alejandro is now our silhouette, leading the way with her lamp. And while well, I'm back here. Don't think my camera light helps out at all. It does almost nothing. ¿Cuáles son algunos de los peligros a esta hora? Tenemos la las arañas monas, tenemos la coral, la mapanare. Y salen todos en la noche. Todo en la noche cuando descansa el el sol en todo el camino pueden salir. Claro que sí. Alejandro, escuchaste eso? No. Y escuché algo. The, we just heard some footsteps like it's either a jaguar or the indigenous are getting closer to us. I wonder how they walk here in the dark. Those are the sounds of the jungle. Sounds like a barking frog or something. A tree frog is coming from the tree. We're back at camp. This is gonna be our dinner spot here. But check this out. Pollo en vara asado. ¿Cuál es la receta aquí, amigo? ¿Qué le hacen a este pollo? Adobo, no más nada. Adobo y más nada. Y la leña y más nada. Este es el adobo aquí. No, este es tortilla. Para vegetariano. Oh, para vegetariano. Man, so this is this is the setup, guys. But here it is, nature at its finest. All this local wood. Oh, we got chicken wings too. Oh no, this is the neck of the the beast, yeah. The chicken was delicious. We're now at camp, guys. So this is gonna be my tent over here. But check it out. I have this guy kind of blocking the way. Alejandro's like freaked out. And well, everybody else sleeps here. The river is just right over there. You can't really see anything because it's dark. And hopefully the indigenous people don't come and tickle us at night or something. <laughs> All right, guys, check this out. <laughs> We're gonna go and take a shower. <laughs> Alejandra's just, she's flipping out right now. Oh man. Oh, I just dropped something. Que se me cayó. No, but it's not. All right, let's go. Um, all right. So this is the pebble path. Everybody, everybody's showering on the river. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go join them. 
está caliente. Para allá está caliente, no, para allá está frío. <laughs> that, that basically means he just took a piss there. <laughs> Carlos, right. dale que está fina esta agua. Está fina. Sí, está fina. Pero la piedra es la que están los molestando ahí. All right, guys, we're gonna go in. We're gonna just shower here. It's like a bath, actually. The water is chilly, though. <laughs> I got my soup. I got my soup. <laughs> Where are you from, man? I'm from Venezuela, but I I live in this moment in Chile. Chile. Yeah. Holy smokes! All right. Para ti está fría. No, lo que pasa es que en Chile realmente Te las piscinas son así. Frío. Así son las piscinas en Chile. Así son las piscinas. Así son las piscinas en Chile. Me acostumbré ya, pero antes no me hubiese metido. I'm gonna put my two cents in and warm up the water a bit. Guys, that's Alejandra and she's the absolute worst. <laughs> She just left me here without the light in the middle of the rocks, but I, I have my, I have a light attached to my camera, so I can make it. Pero but yo, a round of applause, yo everybody. Yo volví por ti. Merida's finest. Hey. <laughs> hey, Alrighty, guys, it is bar Salto Angel. We're gonna have some drinks and some, some music, some Spanish reggae vibes kicking in. Salud. Cheers. 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 Venezuela and Rome, guys. You guys gotta try it. Carupano and Santa Teresa. All right, Gabo is scaring everybody with the story about the indigenous. When you're camping out in the jungle, you're gonna be sharing the space with a lot of people or critters. Alrighty, the power went out. Big surprise here in Venezuela, but like all Venezuelans, you find a way to make it work. We put that little thing up there and the party continues. The bottles are finishing up. Everybody's having some drinks. Saludos de Falcón, Merida, Caracas, Caracas, Zulia. Zulia. Canaima. Canaima local, papá. ¿Ese es el tamón, Esa es una creación, ese es un grillo. Es un grillo. Un grillo, un grillo, un grillo de Parece un transformer. Con unas antenas, pero... Pero mira, no le gustan, no le gustan los humanos. Ahí te va, ahí te va. Mira, me está probando con las antenas. ¡Uy! Ahí va. Mira, quiere caña. Es un grillo criollo, ah, no. Mira, viste, está tomando agua, está tomando agua. Porque han detectado que los animales emiten ciertos, ciertos niveles de luminosidad, inclusive... to catch the sun rays, but check this out. The legend here is making arepitas. This is a masa, or no? Yes, this is a masa. It's a cafe. This is for cafe? Cafe. Yes, it's cafe. Ahí es donde preparó el pollo anoche. Demasiado bueno, hermano. Muchas gracias por ese pollo. Oh, man. I was almost dreaming with that chicken. All right, that's it, guys. There's four of us up. We're gonna go make the race to to get this to see the sunrise. Alright, this is the squad here. 
we made it guys now we're it's already daylight so it's very cloudy but hopefully we get to see some shades of the sun nonetheless you can never get tired of seeing this so at this time we got a rainbow each and every morning now if it's the rainy season the rainbow would fill up refreshing as can be and now we get a little cococete breakfast is typical arepas with some perico but we get a view the falls is there but it's covered up well river levels have dropped about two feet today so we're struggling it's the dry season Baby, we're going in. All right, Alejandro's going for it. Oh man, so check it out. We have the Lake Okanaima here. This is Santo Acha. Watch your step. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what do you think, man? What do you think, brother? How you feeling? Yeah. Feel good? I don't know. You don't know? No. What do you mean you don't know? You feel good or not? Yes. Yeah. Me. Yeah. You feel good? You like Venezuela? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. What was the outcome? Huh? What was the end of the game? What are you speaking? German? No. No. German, yeah. Yeah. German. I don't speak German. Español? No. English. 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 Yeah, I speak English. Yeah. Okay. We oui, oui, the part of France. Okay. Can you say this time? Check it out. We're behind a waterfall right now, guys. This is the natural beauty of Venezuela. Alejandro's getting scorched. In the meantime, I'm trying to pull through here, guys. The water just starts coming through. It's very slippery, so you wear your socks. Y tú no necesitas medias. No. Para nada. Tú eres de acá. Yo soy de acá. Es el carajito, el de niño. El de pequeño. Este es tu jardín acá. Este es mi patio. Tu patio. Así es. He, he can do that. But I'll slip and fall. respect the lizard 100% he believed in his camouflage until the end and he whoa mi pana donde estamos acá encima de la cascada estamos en la parte de arriba del salto del hacha la es. parte de arriba vale so ahí es donde estamos caminando ahorita todo eso estamos por debajo ahorita por estamos en la parte de arriba vale vale alrighty guys so check it out that he just said we we walk under the waterfall all around this is the lake of Canaima and well, we're gonna check it up up here for a little bit we're gonna follow Alejandra to behind the scenes of the waterfall. That's what this is, behind the scenes of a waterfall. That's what it's like. Just waterfalling. Hay un postito. As you guys can see, this water has a little bit of a murky, reddish, brownish color. You might think it's this algae right over here. Let me show you him. Some little red there but that's not it the color comes from minerals in the ground but the algae do play a role you see all this foam especially the foam that builds up at the end of the lake at the bottom it's all the grease that the water is brushing off from this algae this is Santo Exapo those tapuis over there that you see all over 
The movie Up was based on one of these. Now, the world's saddest waterfalls over there. That's Canaima, and these are the oldest rock formations in the whole world. And you probably guessed it, but this is definitely the dry season. Everything is a desert. Check out the foam. This is all the grease from the algae. Here it's just built up and it just looks like muck. Alejandro's going for it. Oh boy. So this is time for a tapo. Yeah. <laughs> 